How many tries I got left? Two. Oh! Senora Westall, you must come with me. Happy. Es su esposo. Está ocupado. ¿Qué pasó? Bill sent me. I thought you were on the way. There's more than 100 Mexicans out there. Fanny, you take the children over the Allen place. It'll be great. You're not going to die. Pat. Pat. Willie. Yes. I got to tell you. I tried, darling, I tried. I never let us stay in one place long enough to be happy. It's nice every morning. I'm gonna stay in the family way all the time. Well, you wait a couple of months, and you may change your mind about that. Mm -mm. Here, have your coffee while it's hot. Oh, thank you. What are you doing up so early this morning, darling? I've got a couple of stops I got to make on the way to the office.
How many children are we going to have? How many eat your breakfast? I think we should have many. Many what? Children. We sure got room enough for them here. Well, I think we can work that out. <laughs> Real easy. Do you think I could be one of your staffs on the way to the office? Oh, I should say so. It's all chaparral and scrub brush, rattlers and horned toads and tarantulas. And even some folks have seen tigers out there. Now, wait a minute, wait a minute. Let me show you what we're talking about. Let me touch here. What we got, we got four sections there in Webb County. But you got to live there. You got to live there three years or more. And you're 50 miles from the nearest town, and that means 50 miles from a railroad. And you tell me your wife is going to have a baby? <sighs> sure looks like it. Uh, and I haven't discouraged you yet? No, sir. Westall, take these papers, please, and sign them, and get out of here, will you? <laughs> yes, sir. Yeah, 
handle it. Pat, you're great. I mean, so how could you let him do this? He had nothing to say about it. You know what the doctor told us? See you about that. Give me Pat. Willie, give me that. No! Willie, get out! Give me that! Going back to hell! Where I came from! No! You're yellow like a damn rock and dip! Why didn't you buy me the whole store? <laughs> well, I didn't think of it, you gold digger. <laughs> no, you know, I always wanted a store. You know, ever since I worked in Franklin, you know, Dunbar's place. Mm -hmm. I really like that. I really like to have a store. I don't know if I could do it. If you could do it. Store, sure you could do it. You could do anything you put your mind to. Only if you're with me. Si se dan cuenta que les tienen miedo, no la dejan que se acerque. ¿Por qué, Benito? Es difícil para mí. Porque tengo un niño aquí, mi marido allá. Y tengo mucho miedo aquí. Ja. Mi mamá dice que usted es la mujer más fuerte que conoce. No puede creer que sea americana. He's got foam on his mouth. Look, you know what that means? Oh, baby. I'll saddle up Pearl and take her myself. No, you don't. Yeah. You're not going. You're ready. No. I'll go. Pat, you haven't been on a horse since your accident. I don't care. I'm going. No, honey, don't cry. Yeah. Take her to the Taurus. Maybe Benito's folks will be able to help you out. Sure, they know about coyotes. You may not make it to the radio. Mexicans, you better know. Come on, honey, we're going for a ride. Now, honey. Oh, this 
pobrecita criatura. Anda, de pobre criatura. El juego es el único remedio. Cuando ella duerma y despierta y se sienta de tener, ella morirá. You probably would have drowned out there, Willie. Yeah, and if it keeps up, I'm gonna drag you all back out in that fine rain with me. When you haven't seen the ground get wet for a whole year, it sure feels good, honey. for a couple of days, so I gotta get us some milk. Well, what's that got to do with you wearing my clothes? I don't want them Longhorns to recognize me. I want them to think I'm Benito. I'm Pat Westall. What a surprise. Oh, and this is my wife. This is Westall. How do you do, Mr. Lester? Did you stay for supper? Yes, ma'am.
sorry. I forgot you had your last piece yesterday. That's all right, Mom. Hey, wait a minute, wait a minute. I got something for you. Mr. Lester has something for you. You're saying candy, but it's just a sweet. Sweeter. An orange. Here you go. What's an orange, Mama? With a piece of fruit. Look, Pat, an orange. Go have your papa cut it for you. Green here, honey. I'll cut it. Juicy try, huh? <laughs> Willie? Thank you. You like it, honey? Mm, good. Mm, it's sweet, isn't it? Where'd it come from, Mr. Lester? Did you get it in California? No, ma'am. It's uh, 150 miles from here in the valley. Oh, what valley's that? Rio Grande, my home. It's where the river runs into the Gulf of Mexico. Sounds beautiful. Must be green. Say, Bill, how long you plan on staying? Sorry with you, about a week. Well, you can stay as long as you want to. Mind you, I'm going to earn my keep. I'll fix myself the place to sleep out in the corral. Oh, no, I wouldn't think of it. I've got a folding bed right there. You can sleep in the corner. Oh, well, Willie, that's what you forgot to do, is build a bunkhouse for our guests. Me? <laughs> yeah. It's all right, Bill can go outside when we get into bed. Which, by the way, is a hell of an idea. It's getting late. Let's go to bed. Come on, bedtime. you come from? Mm -hmm. Well, ain't it kind of dangerously close to Mexico? <laughs> We've been hearing about trouble down around the border. Uh, We've been hearing a lot about Pancho Villa. Once we finally own this land, we want to make a fresh start. We <laughs> can't afford any mistakes. Well, most people in the valley make a fresh start from somewhere. You ought to see it. Are they pumping water right up from the Rio Grande? Give them the whole land a drink. I mean, you stand still too long in one spot, Miss Westall. You start growing yourself. Not really. Folks are pouring in there from everywhere. It's like flies on molasses. They ain't worried about Pancho Villa. Does that mean we're going to move to the valley? Let's move to that valley. We'll sell our cattle to the Tauruses. That'll get us a stake any place. And we're going to need a stake. We're going to build a general store. Store? Willie's store.
Westall, calm yourself. Sit down. Nothing's wrong. I'll be right back. Take care of these two now, huh? Don't let them get in any trouble. Oh. Did you give this to Benito? Say adios to him. Will we be seeing you again, Mr. Lester? Sure. You ever get down to the valley? How will we find you? <laughs> Don't worry. You want any trouble? I'll be there. Don't take care of yourself, Bill. Vaya con cuidado. Me too. Never could figure out a drifter. Nothing. Looks 
like the same old hell to me. Wake up, darling. Mama's gonna take you swimming. Willie, don't tease the child. Huh. I ain't teasing, Pat. Listen, folks, I'm roping in a few of my friends for a big celebration this afternoon. Now, when you're finished here, I want you to be my guest, and I won't take no for an answer. Now, you just follow that bank about two miles, and it'll be the first place you come to. While we're so close to the river, we damn near fall into it. Adios. I'm scared, Pat. 
What do you mean? What are you scared of? Seeing real people again. Everybody get plenty to eat. Y'all have a good time. Merry Christmas. talking to you about we got just a short time ago from the old late fathers the town i'd like you to become a part of mission texas why do they call it mission we named it after that old mission they found it over 50 years ago down here well here's the mission here's the mission fanny why can't we pull your henry off his crop to help build that store and his husband's got the biggest cabbage crop in the whole country. He had, you mean. It's drying up on him. What's the trouble? Something wrong with the irrigation system? It's too busy bossing that scraper gang. Where's Bill Lester? He's supposed to do the bossing. Gang belongs to him. Oh, excuse me, ladies. Gotta go. More snow digging. Bye. Thank you. What part of Texas did you say you come from? Webb County, near Laredo. I know you. Sure. Yeah? Two little girls and a husband with a bad leg. That's right. You're the one that Bill talks about every time he gets good and drunk. <laughs> Bill Lester. Glad you can make it. Howdy. Mr. Westall. I'll be there. Hey, you were right. Sure wasn't hard to find you. I thought maybe you moved on from here by now. Uh, some places, maybe. Not this valley. Don't you know each other, huh? Sure. If it weren't for him, we probably wouldn't be here. He's your best salesman. Bill, I'd like you to meet Miss Richardson, Miss Williams, and Mr. Johnson. Willie's in the kitchen. She's dying to see you. Uncle Bill! It's Uncle Bill! It's Uncle Bill! Oh, girl. Whoa! <laughs> hey, who's this one here, huh? That's Sarita. Nah, come on. It couldn't be Sarita. Yeah, it no, is. No, Sarita's just about, about that big, huh? Uh-uh. No? No? Okay. We finally made it. Yeah, you better keep an eye on Amara here. I think she likes to tell stories. Amara? What do you mean? It sure don't look to me like you come through any sandstorm, Miss Westall. Right now, I feel just as lost as I did in that sandstorm. Starting over. New friends. New times. Don't you worry, none. I'll give you all the help you need. We came to the valley And all that I did was to stand there and look at her, Amigos. that's all I did. And I knew I found her. Here's my best hombre. He ain't much of a worker, but he's always on the job. How do you do? Yeah, howdy. Well, let's get moving on, Bill. Where you head, Mr. Westall? Well, we're kind of anxious to get on the mission. Hold on, then. You're right in the middle of it. <laughs> As a matter of fact, Happy and his friends here is just putting up the railroad depot. <laughs> you see, uh, see what you're looking at right down there? It's Main Street. Of course, we got to clear out some of that brush still. I ain't never seen no Main Street without a saloon. Hey, Peppy, you know anything about building a store? 
No, senor. Good. Let's get started. <laughs> we did all we did. What's love? Each other dream and fall. We did. Su mirada, cautiva y hermosa, le di el corazón. And I knew forever and ever how green my valley and my valley. We have to build in this part of the country, Mr. Westall. Your store will be done in no time. Hey, Pepe, what do you think? Where will we be done? Are you sure? Como no. How about a little como yes? Come on down to the store. It's almost finished. You shouldn't have done it. We owe you so much already. Uh, you don't owe me nothing. Listen. Last time I held you like this, I thought you were a boy. You're no boy. Remember?
you all right? customers like you, the way we're selling's fantastic. Hey, what happened to your wedding band? Honey, I put it in the register when I'm working. It slips off. <laughs> well, maybe we ought to start closing on Sundays. I don't want you working yourself to death. You'll look like a scarecrow. No, I won't, Pat. We can't close yet on Sunday. It's our best day, and we can't afford it. Well, we'll be able to afford it soon, the way the money's pouring in. I'm going to go check on the kids. Okay. We're going to have to start feeding you some potatoes. Custard pie, apple pie, lunch cheese and butter, buttermilk. Every day is busy like Sundays. you brought us to. Did you hear about the raid on Donna Pump? It's just down the river. Yeah, I heard. Well, mission's gonna be next. I don't think so. Of course you don't. It's probably your friend that did it. Yeah. What? To get that day at the ranch? Them fellas he ran off with, they weren't exactly Texas Rangers. No, what do you mean? Let, let, him, let him, let him. He's right anyway. Sit down. Might as well know it by now. Happy and me are real close to Pancho Villa. Yeah, he hates America. Yeah, now he does. Why, Bill? Why not? Put yourself in his place. Ever since I know Pancho, he's been fighting the revolution with Madero. All the time they loved us, because we fought ours and won. So Madero gets himself killed. 
true as Wilson recognizes the first chief of Mexico? Villa? Mm -mm. Carranza. A rich hacienda owner. Dog that saw his own mother. That's what Wilson did. How could he make a mistake like that? Because... Because everybody on this side of the border thinks that Poncho is a bandit, bandido. I know him. See, si. when he was a muchacho, he saw the soldiers hang his father for nothing. See, that's what counts. The people love him. Everywhere he's gone, he's fought for him and he's won. So they love him. That's how come Pepe and me are with him. What do you mean? We give him guns. You're smuggling guns to Pancho Villa? A while back, you thanked me for some. But right now, I could use your help. I could really use your help. Just use your storeroom once in a while, that's all. Well, it wouldn't be a bad idea to have some guns around. Especially if it stopped the raids. I just got to finish building this town. trip tonight, are you, Bill? Got to. Nobody's going to believe you're hauling hay in a store. Really? You know what we're doing. Hi, everybody. Hi, Pat. How you all doing? It's a party here, huh? Hey, 
Pat. How'd you like to meet Pancho Villa, huh? Hell, he ain't got nothing against cripples. Amigo, these are beautiful. The best. You make the general very happy. No, yeah, like I said, thank that man in the wagon over there. His name's Westall. Like I told Colonel Vicari, he's one of us now. <laughs> When's the general coming back? Soon, I hope. He does. Tell him I'd like him to meet Pat Westall. Hey, watch this is hot, Bill. Watch your hands. Uh, hot. Mr. Westall. Peppy. Ah, good, huh? Hey, wait a minute. I thought I ordered ham and eggs. Why don't you taste it? What's it taste like? It's like Mexican ham and eggs. <laughs> Listen, Mr. Westall, I hear a lot about your store. And I hear about your wife, some good things about Miss Westall. My people don't like all Americanos, but they like her. Willie's, uh, Willie's real easy to like. <laughs> hey, don't eat too fast. His name is Zimmer. He's from your side. He meets with those pigs about three times a month. Yeah, I've seen him before. What's his business? I don't know. He says he's got a truck farm. What's he doing with the current system? <laughs> I don't know. With current sisters, it can be good. Why don't you all just finish your breakfast? I'm going to tell them boys, see what they're up to. Just a second. I'm going with you, Bill. I mean, that's what I'm here for. Pepe, can I use your horse? Sure. I'll wait. Play cards with Emilio. Who knows, when you get back, maybe I win this place. <laughs> you don't have to play cards to win this place. I give it to you. <laughs> States government is very naive. Do you really believe they'll send all their troops over here because of a few raids on their border towns? It all depends on the raids. Der Mann versteht mich nicht. Wir müssen mit höher Offizier reden. What if I were to tell you that it's also Germany's plans to raid New Orleans by water? <laughs> you mean to tell me anyone is going to believe that Pancho Villa has a navy? Why, well, they're so poor now, I hear they're riding two on a horse. <laughs> es hat keinen Wert mit ihm. Wir müssen mit seinen Vorgesetzten sprechen. Sie haben recht, es ist sinnlos, mit diesem Mann zu reden. I see. I have to discuss this with your superiors when we get there. 
Same as you please. Our German friend led us right to the Karen sister camp. Watch careful. Karen sisters are ditching their uniforms and they're changing into bandit rags so they look like Pancho Villa's men. Yeah. Seems like they're getting ready for another raid in our border towns and putting the blame on Pancho Villa again. Like I said, it wasn't Villa that raided Don the Pump. Take a look. That German's coming back this way. Yeah, he'll come back to get his horse. You can bet on it. I want him. He's the one who pays the current sisters for these raids. That's his game, amigo. Get us fighting in Mexico, keep us out of Europe. You know, Pat, Pepe and me ain't got nobody. You got a wife, a couple kids. Forget it, Bill. Remember, you promised I was going to meet that Pancho Villa. You get to the other side of the road, shoot into the back seat. Watch your angles. I'll hit him from this side. Pat, you get the driver. Ride as fast as you can. Go get Miss Westall. Now, move. Emilio, uh, where's the nearest doctor? San Miguel. San Miguel. I'll bring Mr. Westall home.
listos? Sí, general. Vete, amigo. I'm glad no harm has come to you. You're one of my golden ones. Gracias, General. I would like you I'm to meet... I'm sorry about Bill Lester. He was one of my golden ones, too. General, this is... He will be very hard to replace. Is that what it means to be one of your golden ones? Hard to replace? You can never replace Bill Lester. General, I'd like you to meet... I know, senora. I know, Senora. The lady with the store. And I know when you came. There is no store. Mission is burning. Believe, senora, every day in my country, I see villages burned down, husbands and sons killed. Your war was not my husband's war. Fuera, muchachos. I'm embarrassed. I did not know your husband. I knew Bill Lester when he was younger and Pepe. And even though he's a gringo, my work has always been his war. And now the current sister will probably shoot him. Then you must try to save him. Senora, can you believe I can tell my men that we will attack a Carrancista camp just to save one Americano? Besides, Zapata's waiting for me in Mexico City. Bill Lester is one of your best soldiers. You need him. And it's not just one Americano. It's all the Americanos who blame you for the raids across the border. You know that it's not so. That's how it'll be written. What written? Not about the great battles, but how you killed women and children. They won't even call you a general. Pancho Villa, the bandit. Mentira! Bacaro, Martin! Bacaro! Los mapas, quiero ver los mapas. ¿Dónde están? Los mapas. Ya me colmaron el plato. Mapas, compadre. Búsquenme ese desgraciado mapa ahorita. Muy bien, tráemelo para acá. Quiero que me enseñes el campo de los carrancistas, desgraciados. Martín. Yo mi de carrancista que... You are here, right? Sí. How long will it take us to get over there? Uh, they have nearly 200 men. And we? 61, General. It'll be easy. How? Military strategy. General, ¿qué pasa? Los uniformes de los carrancistas todavía están en buenas condiciones desde la última vez que los usamos. Quítame su uniforme de encima. Los... Y dile a los hombres que se vistan pronto. Vámonos. Sí, mi general. Ándale, muchachos, apresúrense. Mira bien, mi soldado. Sí, pero me quedan las mangas muy largas. ¿Cómo que le quedan muy largas? Sí. A ver. Déjame darle un poquito. ¡Uy! ¿Qué tal le gusta ahora? Muy bien, mi general. Muy bien. No faltaba más. Se <risa> miran bien, se miran bien. Oye, la prieta se mira mejor con el uniforme que con el vestido, ¿no? Quieto, quieto. ¿Qué?
Que se sonríe, mi coronel Bacaro. Estaba pensando, mi general. Ellos se ponen nuestras ropas y nosotros sus uniformes. Sí, pero hay una diferencia. Esta noche, los que se pongan ese uniforme son puros machos de Pancho Vía. Identifique su batallón. Este es el regimiento del general Francisco Vía. I'm only for you, amigo. Pepe and the Senora Westall. Sargento, atienda los heridos. Macaro! General, 
Tráigame a los oficiales carrancistas para el campamento. Sí, mi general. de los heridos. ¡Vámonos! Fíjense. ¡Ándenle, mocosa! ¿Esta es la manera que le echan la culpa a Pancho Villa, el bandido? Pues yo soy Pancho Villa, el general. Vale, tráiganme más. General, tenemos a ochenta y tantos prisioneros. ¿Has manchado mi nombre? ¿Cruzando para el otro lado? ¿Atacando los pueblos? ¿Haciendo creer a los americanos que es Pancho Villa? Ese no es mi estilo. Ese es el estilo de Carranza. Y para mí Carranza es un coyote. ¡Dilo! Carranza es un coyote. Carranza es un coyote. ¡Más fuerte! Carranza es un coyote. ¿Creen que soy un perro como ustedes? Porque solamente un perro... Pudo haber hecho lo que ustedes hicieron con esta pobre gente. Yo, Pancho Villa, nunca lo pudiera hacer. Mátenlos. encontrado a Pepe en el otro lado. Está bien. Desgraciado. Pío. Pío.
take him home. Would you bury him with your golden one? It would be an honor, senora. Worried about you. So sorry. Where's Peppy? Dead. We lose a lot of people. Four or five. Enough to scare them off. What about your place, Henry? We were lucky, thank God. We weren't touched. Mr. Lester? Yeah? Sergeant Williams, sir. My superior officer, Major Buchanan, would like to talk to you. Where is he? We're headquartered inside the depot. Girls can stay with us as long as you want. You're welcome. Where'd you bury Pat? We buried him down by the river. Sure glad you're back, Miss Westall. Sorry about Pat. Thank you, Mr. L. Everybody's panicking. You can't change people. Some are scared, and some ain't. I guess you'll be leaving us now, Miss Westall, what with Pat gone and, and the store gone. No. I want to build a store again. Tomorrow. I came here to raise my family. Know some folks? Those raiders never bothered our good mescal. What do you say we do some raiding of our own? You coming, Billy? I'll be right there, Fanny. The army wants to see me up in San Antonio. Why? They want me to make a report on Via. So I'm going to go up there and see if I can clear Pancho's name with it. After that, I'm headed back across the Rio. The general's on his way to Torreon. I'm going with him. It's 
My wedding ring. Happy had it on. Why? Why? I guess he just wanted some of you to be close to. not know it, I will make a way in the wilderness and rivers in the desert. She came to the valley that I did was to stand there and look at her. That's all I did. And I knew I found her, a woman, to feel my empty arms. She came to the valley. And all that she did was to stand there and smile at me. That's all she did. The sun rose around her, my woman. At last, I found my woman. And all. We did all we did was love each other spring and fall. We did. Su mirada cautiva y hermosa le di el corazón And I knew forever and ever how green my 